Linda, I'm never going to have sex again. That's what that jumper says. <laughs> it is a change of attitude about yourself. Hi, Chloe. Hi, Trini. Linda here. Um, love you, Trini. You are so inspirational. Your upbeat personality and positivity has helped me at get through the most difficult time in my life. Um, I'm in a rut in everything, my hair, clothes, makeup. So the makeover would just be perfect for me. Hi Lisa. Hi Chloe. Are you excited? Really excited. Linda. So follow me ladies. So we usually do this intimate chat in the cab, Linda. Yes. So do you tell your sister everything? Yes. yes. You do everything. Yes, but who's older? I'm Pat, older. You're older. How many years? Seven. Seven. Interesting. <laughs> your sister makes more effort. You told me not to wear the makeup. <laughs> no, I know, I know. I'm just kind of, I'm looking. This is like the honesty cab, yes. Linda. You know yes. that. I, I, I get, my, my sons tell me that Pat looks younger than me. Okay, yeah. give me the quick background. So you are age? I'm 57, just turned 57. I live in Northern Ireland. And you have how many kids? Two. We were, I was told everybody I was going to have a honeymoon baby. Yeah. Didn't work out like that. And we went through a gazillion times IVF. I had two pregnancies, failed. And uh, so we went through adoption. Both you my boys through. are adopted. I'm going to ask you quick fire questions, Linda, because okay. we're going to get back to the very undeep concept of dressing you. Yes. Okay. So, what you're wearing today, what's this for? Jeans and t-shirt. I mean, I am in jeans and t-shirt a lot. I'm a medical secretary in the hospital. Mm -hmm. So I would like to find you a new code at work. Work is an opportunity to also go for coffee with people. Mm -hmm. So I think we need a work moment that you can grab and it's a uniform for you, but it has a bit more life to it. Any place is an opportunity for somebody to see you. You want to put something in well, here. You I want always, to say something, I just want you? to say yeah. that Linda always wears things that are too big for her. Oh, okay. I always buy like, I know it's going to sound ridiculous, but I do buy size 18 tall. <laughs> I know. I know. That's an American size 14. When your film, which I just watched again, you just said you kind of had the worst year. Yeah, I'm, I'm going through a divorce. It's a very tough one. I mean, I think that many women are in that situation, but I think it's very tough, especially when you've just come out of marriage. So I think it's, it's a really good time that we've met. Yes. Because I think Couldn't you be kind of, when you meet somebody in the middle, of this kind of situation, you just can't see the wood for the trees. That's right. And I've been through separation after, but you don't have the energy to then look after yourself. So it's like you've got to just take care of the situation, and now we have time for Linda. So it's yeah. perfect timing. It, it, All right, darling, we're at okay. Zara. Let's go. I love this. I got this in rust last year. You love that? I love that. It's like something the dog should sleep on. Oh, I'm never going to have sex again. That's what that <laughs> jumper says. Didn't realise I had so much stuff. I know Zara's smaller yep. sizes, so I would definitely go for an extra large. An extra large. Look here, what's that? It's just big, mm -hmm. it's big. I know. Just, if you face forward, that's got a nice back to it. Forget about the bulk of that. Got a nice back, fits you across here. Filling the breast area. Medium. Medium? So, you know, medium. That color, I feel, makes her look like she's been ill for two weeks. And there's a tendency when you've lost a bit of weight to that you will still see yourself in a certain size. So that's the one you chose. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't buy this because I know it looks too big for me. All right, but you but chose it. But it feels comfortable, I know. comfortable, all right. That's the size that, I mean, okay. I do like loose. Actually, shoulder. really comfortable. I see your waist and that, that shoulder gives you structure. Yeah, it's a, it's a great color. I love the color. 29 quid, I love it. Take it off, come on, come on, come on. I feel things are warming up now. That looks fantastic. Linda! Yes, 
quite fun. Do we like that? Pat, would, that would be nice on Pat. Why? Why would it look nice because on you? Because Pat wears a lot of nice dress blouses. And why can't you? I would be more like. And why can't pockets you? and big boobs can be an issue. Pockets and big boobs can disguise big boobs. It depends where the pocket is placed. Last time round, but the length of the sleeve is a bit dodgy. Mm. It's going to make us, you know, if you've got boobs and you have a sleeve length ending here, it makes your whole boob Bigger. really wide. So you just want to avoid that. Come on, you can run a bit now. We've got a lot to do. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. But I think women get used to this thing that the less they see here, the, the smaller they think their boobs are. So they'd want to do things that go like that to a boob. It's pushing down your boob so it gives you more of a tummy. Mm -hmm. Okay. I would definitely get a bigger size in the jacket. You would. Is your life about comfort? Yeah. Is your life about comfort? Yeah. Should your life be about comfort? I know, Linda, I know what you're saying. Should it? Is if you pull it up here mm -hmm. and you do a little tuck like that, mm -hmm. even I do that with a safety pin, mm -hmm. go down again, and if we have a pin here mm -hmm. like that and you have a different bra Linda you need the bra that's not doing that you need the bra that's doing that then it's going to work okay. so it's a size too small the jacket it is, yeah. but it's, it's the proportions of it and it's I love how you keep narrow waist. yeah exactly yeah. and I like the casualness of the trouser I do. with I a with a shoe amazing, eh? You know, because you're petite, it's keeping the same colour all the way down, mm -hmm. breaking it up with a bit of snakeskin, which you prefer more than leopard. Mm -hmm. The colours are beautiful on you. I love the colours. I much prefer it. It's such a difference tucked in. Yeah, such a difference. And then I love the I love the kind of distressed jean. It's very cool on you. Mm -hmm. any pictures I just want you to see the line of your body don't go for XLs XLs are not in anything that we have tried today L is not in much we've tried today mm -hmm. we've done medium and we've done L for your boots mm -hmm. oh, such a good time for me this happened I know I can kind of begin I know I said that in my email but it's so yeah it is like it's meant to be I know that was rushed, and I think that it's kind of, I sort of forget how overwhelming it can be, yeah. because you're just kind of going from dressing a certain way for probably, I'd say, 20 years. A long time. Yeah. Okay. So what that means is a change of attitude about yourself. So even though you're in a very small place in Northern Ireland, should that change, should that stop you changing the way you dress? No. No, I'm feeling about yourself. I'm feeling about yourself and getting up in the morning, making the little bit of effort. Do you, when you put your clothes on in the morning, what's your thing that you want the clothes to do? At, At the moment, yeah. yeah. Feel More. comfortable. Okay. And cover. Oh, yeah. Cover and feel comfortable. Okay. So what is the thing you now are going to ask your clothes to do for you? Give me a bit of shape and make me look sexy. <laughs> well, not all the time, but no. give you shape. I mean, yeah. step one, give you shape. Give okay. Shape. Yeah. And also maybe... Yeah. Buy, buy things that fit. Buy things that fit, and wear colors that make you come alive. Yeah. So here we are, day two, darling. <laughs> and we are with Divine Adam. Hello, from hello. Joshua Atelier, and we're looking at the hair. But do you generally wear it tied back or do you just have it letting hang? How do you do it? Always up in a bun, usually. Always up in a bun. It's about getting the cut that makes you wear it down. Mm -hmm. You just really need to give that softness and that movement that's going to get everything that's happening right now down here to get it to happen here. We're just twisting all the hair away from the face. Hair dryer always from the top to get rid of the frizz and focus on the heat in this middle section. 
what we're getting is a perfect base for us to just tongue it in two minutes and get that Trini wood all blow dry. What I would do is literally grab random sections. Don't, don't part it with a clip or anything, just whatever you see needs doing. Grab it from the very end so that we don't burn ourselves and so that the hair wraps around naturally. Leave the ends out. It's gonna give you a slightly more natural, tousled look. And just pull it out straight away. You don't wanna leave it set in. Okay. But that's what's gonna give you that messy, slightly tousled wave. With a green eye, I do love a bit of lovers and I love lovers with green. Okay. So I'm tempted to do a soft smoky using lovers. A double layer of BFF underneath there, but not too close. Covering the blue before you start, so the BFF will colour correct it quite a lot. It's not like a visible build up of foundation, but it's doing a lot to take the colour down before we start. Around your nose, mm -hmm. I don't, you just don't need it. I put it on my chin around my nose. Yeah. My nose, yeah. And that's it. You can see the shake of it. You can literally see where your cheekbone, the high bit is. So it's just, I'm going to just put it in Under the deep that follows. Okay. Yeah. And then I find a li little bit on your finger, sort of smudged in. And sort of create like it shadow, around. It? Yeah, it will create a shadow that's easier to control than if you just did a full-on stripe and then try to move it. But make sure it's back into your hairline. But Two Purple on You, I don't love. So that's why I chose this one. Because it's like a, sort of like, it's warm. It's a warm purple that's not too warm. I wouldn't even say purple, I'd say like really deep burnt heather. So I'll cover the whole lid, mm -hmm. easy with the finger, you don't have to be too neat. Rub the edges as you're going along so that nothing's too set. And then you can feel your brow bone because mm -hmm. it's quite strong. So like I'm just using my thumb, rubbing that product over to hit that, but then not bringing it up anywhere near the top of your brow. Okay. You never go wrong with a bit with blending, so I just want to do a bit more. And I like it on you where it does hit that bone, because mm -hmm. that bone is prominent and you want to push it back a little bit. So a tiny bit if you are going to use a brush, and then just fuzz it over that bit of the brow. And then I'm going to take the colour again. It's all with one colour, and work much more closely into your lash line. And I'm just going to bring the same colour, so everything's in one colour, into some sort of fuzzy, almost invisible line underneath to give it a smoke, but nothing harsh. Wider than you think you would, so you'd almost bring it down lower, but because it's so subtle and gentle and not even a line, mm -hmm. it works for some reason. Sometimes, if you made a balls up with mm -hmm. the um, under eye, mm -hmm. look up again, you can take dial it back by some clever work with cotton bud or a brush, like mm -hmm. rub it out, mm -hmm. and then just top up your concealer again.
god. Oh my god. Oh, I love that noise. Just very new, mm -hmm. but fresh. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I do like it. Thanks so much for this experience. It's been absolutely amazing. Good, darling. Great time in my life to be getting this, and I just feel really, you've made me feel really special, and all the makeup and hair and the clothes. I love it. I love your style, and I know everybody's like saying they want this coat. Um, yes, look at this. Oh, she's a girl. What do you think I of think Linda's transformation? She looks fantastic. It's been an amazing experience for her. How are you feeling? <laughs> yeah, I feel really good. I was kind of shocked when I saw myself because it's quite a transformation. It's a complete change from everything that she normally sort of wears and her hair makeup just looks, her makeup looks so much softer and uh, her hair is just fabulous. She just looks great. I'm so pleased for her. What is the tip that you remember the most that Trini gave you? Um, yeah, not to kind of be like a little mouse in the corner and kind of more like flourish and be confident and be more sure about yourself and not so, you know, intimidated by things or, you know, just going forward and feeling happy and confident and looking good. Looking good but not feeling like it's too made up, it's kind of a natural look. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah I love it.